Everybody, welcome back to the Think Different Podcast. This is Will. Glad to be back here for another week for Final Cut Fridays. The last episode that we did was all about keywords and smart collections. So if you have not watched any of our previous episodes, we have discussed a lot of things already, including importing, including organizing right here, uh, quoting uh, smart collections and keywords. So we've done a lot of things. So please, it's very important to go back to the beginning. But if you're here just to learn about this episode, we are talking all about this section right here now last time I told you I was going to go through all my footage and keyword everything which I have done ahead of time you could see how long of these words that there are here and this could really be a lot for somebody uh, there's a lot to go through uh, for each section so what I'm going to do is show you some quick organizing tools uh, to kind of organize all this together a little bit uh, so first off what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to create a new smart collection because what I need to do is I just want to see just the audio because there are clips in here where I'm going to be including some audio in here uh, and a lot of your like stuff you could have instrumental music uh licensed music whatever you're going to be choosing so i'm going to go back and redo one more collection and i'm going to actually uh include this so i'm going to go to the plus sign here and i'm going to select media type i just want the audio footage so i'm just going to change this to audio only now right now there's nothing there because the first thing it's telling me is all text includes blank well i don't need it i don't need text i just want audio to make a new collection now again the same problem when you're doing this, you should always do it from up here, not from a section down here, because it always, as you can tell, the the change happened. When I went, if I was in Photo Booth, looking through here, the filter is going through Photo Booth. But if you go to the very top, that's the best way to do it. So again, just something to remember uh, that you want to filter all the way up from the top. And I'm going to create a new smart collection called Audio. And again, everything is organized based on the alphabet. So we learned that last episode. Now let's organize this a little bit. So I want to I want to do this organizing just to make a, 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 things a little bit smaller for me here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder. Uh, you can create folders in here. Uh, you can just right click or secondary click or two finger click if you have a laptop and go right to new folder. And I'm going to call it dancing footage because I have a few things inside of this area that I could use. So I have dancing. I'm just going to drag it right here into this folder and now you can see the arrow has moved to a down there's a little bit of a slant here uh, to do that now if you're familiar with finder this is very familiar to you you've seen this i'm also going to take the robot because this was also part of the dancing footage so i'm going to move that in there it's a little hard as you can see as i'm moving it. it's making it a little difficult there we go uh, and then i'm also going to choose uh, this pro dj because all the footage i shot for this was during the dancing so i'm just going to include that right there as you can see, this is actually becoming a little bit difficult, which is actually kind of annoying, I'll be honest. So, and now I can just hit the triangle, and you see I knocked down a lot of footage here away from here. And the idea is really just to get more room to work in this area. So folders are useful. I, again, I don't use them very often because, honestly, each library I do is for one gig, so I never really have to worry about multiple things. But I am going to open up one that you would have a lot of stuff. So I have a... Our podcast. So I'm going to open up a library that I already have. And you can see now, if I was to open every single one of these, look how long this could become. It's a lot of stuff. Now, if you notice here, I have two different libraries open. I have one library, which is all our podcast stuff. Hope you're subscribing, by the way. And we also have this one, which I'm making just for Final Cut Fridays. So you can have more than one library open at the same time. What, what's the benefit of that? Well, you, if you're working on one piece of footage and you want to be able to move it over you could do that so for final cut friday let's say i want to grab a logo from the, the, the different podcast so i have like right here our logo maybe i want to move it over here so i can actually drag it to another library and i can put it right into sweet 16 and the moment i did that we have this right here it's telling me what do you want to do with this selected clip the selected clip will be copied to a storage location for the library Final Cut Friday. You can include the original optimizer proxy. So that means that what they're doing is if you have footage that has already been optimized, you can move it over with the original media. Same thing with the proxy media. Or if the media is stored externally. So if there is footage, let's say that that clip was stored on my server. 
as an example, and you want to copy it over from the external storage. Well, that's, again, a little advanced for what I'm trying to teach you, uh, but that's basically what this is. And then media destination, I'm not going to go into this yet. You're too new to, to go through it. Same thing, you have an option here called Clip Without Media. Again, I have never used that feature. I don't need to. I don't think none of us need to. And honestly, I think it would be more confusion. It's always better. What's good about this new Final Cut is that everything is copied into a folder. We're going to talk about that. So I can hit OK. So it copies it over. It doesn't move it over. So be aware of that. Libraries, you cannot move from one to another. There is a way to do that, but you're not going to do that here. So... That is just a simple way of organizing. But now the main thing I want to talk about is the actual Final Cut Friday file. So if you were to push down uh, with two fingers, uh, at least I'm on a laptop, and you can go to Reveal and Finder, it's going to take you right to right here. There's a lot of stuff I have in here, by the way. Uh, but you can see this is the library file. And if you look, it says the size is 625 gigs. Well, that is not how I didn't shoot all that footage. That wasn't really 625. But what I want to do is break this down. It's very important to break it down. So I'm going to open and hit show package contents. I don't recommend doing this if you don't know really what you're doing, but I wanted to do it just for training purposes. So here's the Sweet 16 file, which matches right here. I'm going to open this up, and they have four different folders here that they have. They have analysis files, original media, render files, and transcoded media. The one I want to focus on right now is, is original media. This is actually the original media that I shot. I'm going to hit Command and I on your keyboard, which then pops up this folder right here. The original media I shot is 47 gigs worth of content. So why is it so big? Well, that is because under transcode media, there is two different folders here, proxy and high quality. If I open high quality, look at the size of that. That is 569 gigs of data. Why is it so big? If you go back to our episode where we were importing footage, I told it, and I'm going to bring it up right now, I told it to create optimized media, which creates a Apple ProRes 422. It is the optimal codec for editing inside of Final Cut Pro. Everything runs extremely smooth when you are using ProRes. ProRes Proxy is the other version, which is for people whose machines may not be optimized enough to work with the ProRes. Also, if you don't have the room, because as you can tell, this 47 gigs of footage is 569 gigs of data. That is, you know, that's math, people. That's a lot. So sometimes you can't put that on your machine. So proxy media is much smaller. Look at the size difference, 8.86 gigs. So I, it really knocks down the quality. It doesn't really knock down the quality. You're not supposed to use the proxy footage in your final edit. The only reason you're using proxy footage is if you want to be able to edit faster. So please remember that. Now, there's another piece to this puzzle. If you are playing back footage, Inside your window right here is something called View. You have an option called Media Playback, and it says Optimize Original, Proxy Preferred, or Proxy Only. Optimize slash Original will use the ProRes slash Original footage depending on if you did the Optimize or you didn't. Proxy Preferred means that only it'll, if the clip that you have here, let's say this clip as an example, does not have any proxy media. Well, it's going to use the original media. There was no proxy made for it. However, if you do proxy preferred, if the file was made into a proxy file, that's the one it's going to use, but it's not going to exclude it. There is an option called proxy only. Proxy only will remove footage from your view here, and this is a perfect example. The iPhone footage has not been set up for proxy. I purposely did not do that to show you this example. Because look, you can't, it doesn't find the footage. It's not located in this library file. So inside the proxy media folder, you don't see an IMG in here. They're not there. Going back to proxy only here, if you also notice the Sweet 16 has like this little mark on here, which means that there's something missing. They're missing footage. So going back to optimize an original, the clips come back, 
but if I was to go to proxy only, it would be out of here. Now, proxy preferred, you see, it's still here, but the footage that has been made as a proxy will still be available to use. So that's why doing proxy only is something I've never done. You always want to at least stick with these two, but proxy only if you are that desperate for uh, either space uh, and room, you could do that. Also, you could turn footage uh, into proxy. So if I highlight all the IMG clips here, I'm going to highlight using the shift key, and I highlight all these clips, or if I go in list mode, it might be easier to see. Uh, you could go to list mode, and I could choose all the IMG footage. I can right-click, and there's an option called transcode media, which then I can create the proxy media that I wanted if I needed to. Also, I can create the ProRes as well. So you can transcode this media. Again, you want to use ProRes proxy if your machine can't handle the massive amount of size that the ProRes can. So you will know this when you start editing. Because when you start editing, you start, and also if you play back, like if you're playing back footage and it's choppy and you don't feel like it's like running correctly, that's the, a sign for you to do proxy. You don't have to do it right always when you import. You can always do it after the fact. So it's important to know that when you are looking at your footage, if it's choppy to you and you feel like it's not playing back correctly, then you really need to consider doing the proxy footage, and it doesn't hurt. It helps you edit much faster, uh, and it plays back faster. In fact, there were scenarios that I needed to do that uh, on my old Mac before this new one, so I guarantee you're going to run into something like that as well. So I hope that's a break. That's a little bit of a breakdown of the library file itself. It's Again, there are so much more to talk about if you really wanted to go crazy with it, but I wanted to give it as basic as possible. And if you notice, we haven't even started editing yet. We're not even down here yet. In fact, I should have just closed this uh, just to get out of the way because it was not even necessary. But we're uh, all done here. But now we're going to talk about the next thing, which is marking favorites. We're going to finally start going through our footage. And we are going to select the portions that we want to put in our final product. We're going to do that next time. But thank you very much for joining me for this version of this. Please subscribe to our channel. I really do appreciate it. I love every single one of you.